Well good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids uh, but this time of year people are being bothered by different bugs and scale and and uh, mealy bugs in particular and uh, I'm bothered with uh, mealy bugs on one plant that I can't uh, I can't seem to move so what I propose to do today is go back and I think I put this uh, video on was it six or seven years ago something like that of a treatment which will kill your scale, it will kill your mole milly bug, and it will kill any bugs you fancy. Uh, I don't think it will kill fungus, because if you've got fungus on your leaves, it means that uh, your leaves are, are a bit acidy. So what you should do there is just wipe your leaves over with a little bit of uh, milk and water to uh, make your leaves a little alkaline and then the fungus spores won't attach to them. Anyhow, what I propose to do today is show you the bleach treatment. Now, people have said it's brilliant, some people have said it kills the plants, but it does not kill your plants. It does not harm your plants in any way whatsoever. And this has been proved by the RHS, and uh, my method of doing them has always been a, has also been approved in a German uh, orchid uh, book. So uh, don't worry about uh, how much bleach you put in, as long as you re uh, you bleach them after. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, put some bleach in uh, in one of the buckets. In both buckets now, I've just got ordinary tap water. It's a bit lukewarm and uh, and then we'll go ahead and dunk it. Well, I've got the bleach here and don't bother how much you put in as long as you can get it nice and frothy on top. And I think in the States they call it Clorox or something like that. It's exactly the same stuff. So, uh, so you can use that as well. I like putting a lot in. Give it a good stir up. It's well diluted this. Won't affect your hands. You clean your nails for you, but uh, doesn't seem to affect you at all. ready. The plant I can't get going and I can't get rid of the mealy bug or scale on it is this Lelia Gouldiana and if I can get close you can see the mealy bug. Mealy bug down here, mealy bug down there, scale down the bottom. So uh, we're going to put this in the bleach and uh, we're going to cure it. So we'll take it out of its pot. Good chance to have a look at the roots as well, see what they're like. I don't think there'll be any mealy bug or scale in the media. Oh, it's really well stuck in. There we are. Whatever it's on there, you know, whatever these roots are stuck to the uh, to the compost, just leave on. Get your plant drop it in the bleach. See if I can do with this with one hand now. Well the plant's in the bleach there so I'll just make sure it's well in. I'll keep it that way up for uh, well five minutes and that should do it because I don't think there's any anywhere up the leaves. It's just below and in the crown of the uh, of the growth. So we'll just leave that in there for five or ten minutes. Now using bleach is not new, not new to greenhouses because in the olden days what they used to do, they used to have a mat at the door and uh, people used to have to wipe their feet when they went into a greenhouse and that mat was probably covered in bleach. 
So uh, that's what they used it for in the old days, but uh, I've been using it on my orchids for a long time with no problems at all. And the, uh, the only problem that you can get with them, I expect, and I'm not sure about this, is if you don't rinse it proper. That's why I've got two buckets full of water, because once it's finished in here, it will go into the water, and then I'll take it to the house, and I'll rinse the lot in, uh, in tap water that's just a little bit lukewarm. Well, it's been in there for uh, five or six minutes now, so we'll take it out, and where the mealy bugs were, we'll just use the... Uh, soft toothbrush just to get down and make sure everything's moved give it a nice little scrubbing down you find the scale comes off everything and I've just noticed on here I've got two new growths coming up one there and one there so uh, I'm just attacking this in time there's some more there that uh, needs to come off. It's a good, shit, good, good time to uh, clean everything up as well. There's a bit of loose skin off the leaf down there that needs to come off. Ah, I just can't hold it. Let's get it from this side. Yep, there we are. So a thorough clean up. So what we do now is get the uh, the fresh water. Right, we'll put that in there for uh, a few minutes. And then we'll go and rinse it and then get it repotted again and it should be fine. One, two, three. Well I've taken it out of the water now, I've had it in the house and I've been rinsing it and rinsing it and rinsing it to make sure there's no, uh, what do they call it, chloramine or bleach hanging around. So, uh, the roots feel all right. That could do is coming off that one. If I can find some scissors, so we'll take off what roots we don't want. And most of them are quite good. Nice set of roots there. So what we'll do now, just for a change, I am going to repot it. So we've got a little bit of polystyrene in the bottom. We've got some new boy that's absolutely full of uh, perlite. Same size of pot. stuff here. Just give it a little press down, not too hard, just to make sure you fill these spaces up. Well there we are, Lelia Goliana, all debugged. So uh, if you like that, don't be frightened of it, just give it a try. It won't harm your plant at all and it'll do a lot of relief for you by getting rid of mealybug and scale. 
and it'll save you a lot of money spending it on these uh, chemicals to get rid of them. So thanks very much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.